This is Hisham and what exactly is an ICO file? The wiki definition of an ICO is The ICO file format is an image file format for computer items on Microsoft Windows. ICO file contains one or more small images and monkey size orders and computers suggest that they may be scaled appropriately. But you don't want to buy that. So what exactly is an ICO file format? Well, it's four or more layers of images mushed together which a software can then use layer by layer as if each layer was a separate image. So how do you make one? I show you the most efficient way to make one and all you need is GIMP. So where do you start? Of course in Krita. Now hear me out, this is optional. Well drawing in Krita that is, not this whole step. But I use Krita because I like Krita. Now that you've opened it up, it's time to draw. For an ICO file, you need to have layers of dimensions ranging from at least 256 by 256, 128 by 128, 64 by 64, 48 by 48, 32 by 32, and 16 by 16. So let's start by drawing something in 256 by 256 dimensions. Okay, now that we have an icon of sorts, let's take it to GIMP. Again, you can have started drawing in GIMP, it's just that I'm more comfortable with Krita. When exporting, you can just export it as a PNG, or if you used any other vector programs, maybe you could exp export it as a vector file. So open up GIMP and import whatever you have drawn, and after that, it's time to duplicate layers. So what I mean is, create a new layer in GIMP with dimensions of 128 by 128, and then copy everything from the 256 by 256 layer, and then paste it onto the 128 layer. Now rinse and repeat for all the layers and sizes that you need for your icon. Not that I've named the layers accordingly, but that's just for convenience. You could totally ignore that step like the unorganized minutes you are. Now the only thing left is to export. But before that, there's one thing you need to make sure. And that is, the layers must be arranged in a descending order of dimensions. So we've got the layer of dimensions 256 by 256 as your first one and 16 by 16 as the last one. Finally, it's time to export. And at the bottom of the export pop-up window, don't forget to choose ICO before hitting export. And while you're at it, might as well as hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to uncheck compressed, because if you don't, bad things are gonna happen. And that's it. That's how you make an ICO file from scratch. Thanks for watching and liking and I'll see you in the next one.